Hey, it's with you as we get set for the Plains of Basketball season, and uh, well, I got a couple seniors with me. Frank Crum here, Asa Williams here. We're going to set the, the Fremont Motors Tournament. Casper is what starts things off, and we'll talk about that coming up. But you guys, uh, first of all, I'll start with you, Frank. Uh, I know I talked with you in football, gave you a little flack, but talk about your senior season of basketball. How much are you looking forward to this? I'm excited to finish off high school with a good note and just end the season well, state championship is a goal. What about for you, your senior campaign here, your second year here, what, what what are you looking forward to the most? Well, our main goal this summer was to get state championships, so we're going to keep fighting for that. We've been working really hard to practice. You guys got the core back, so what does it take to kind of elevate your game? Because let's face it, we struggled a little bit last year, so what are we going to do to take that next step in your mind? Yeah, I think the chemistry from last year is just built on itself with the coach to players and players to players. I think it's just going up from that. What's your thoughts on that? Uh, well, we just got to keep pushing at the team. I know we've been uh, working really hard as a team in practice. We've been pushing each other, so we just got to keep the chemistry going out. Is there one key that's bigger than anything, do you feel? Uh, well, I feel like we're just fast. We can push the ball really well. We're, we're a lot like the outside the Washington Wizards. Like we can just push the ball with lengthy. Yeah, so we're, like, we're a really good team. We're the tallest in the state. Okay. You, you like the length, too? You think that's an advantage for you guys? Yeah, everybody's six one and above, so. I don't know. Let's put Chad in. Well, let, 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 well, Chad Browning, if you're watching this video, I don't know, man. Frank, you mean the benefit of the doubt. I don't, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, so, all right. So, as you guys get ready for this season, obviously, high expectations with a number four preseason ranking. Do you guys mind that? Uh, I don't think we're going to. We don't really look at it. We don't okay. base ourselves on that. Yeah. We come out with every game respecting our opponents and yeah, looking for a win. Evanston, Rock Springs, Natrona, Kelly Walsh. What are you looking forward to out of those four games this weekend? Evanston, I would say, is probably going to be a toughest matchup because last year they they brought a, they brought a lot to us. We spent the season series last year, so but I feel like the other three teams they, they bring a lot of competition also, but they lost a lot of good players last year, so we can, we can really bring it to them. How would you describe the atmosphere around the team this year? Oh, I think we have a ton of energy. We love playing with each other. We all have a good time in one class, so we just want to be with each other now. For you, Frank, talk a little bit about you know. Seeing where this team has been the last couple of seasons, you guys got to state a couple of years ago, won that consolation. You didn't get there last year. How much motivation is there to get back and do some big things? Yeah, we're looking to not even be in the playoff game, in that playing in game. Okay. Let's see if we can get that one or two seeds. So. It's a little different in the conference this year. You seven teams, so you got actually two extra games with Thunder Basin. What are your thoughts on just how tough this conference is going to be? I think it's going to be a lot. It's a little bit longer, you know, with those extra teams. We got more trips up to up north, so like that would take a toll. But I think we're mentally strong. Just we got a strong senior core, good leadership. All right, let's have a little fun. Uh, who's the class clown of this group? <laughs> let's do it the seniors. <laughs> of any seniors, uh, Frank. Uh, now, 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 don't 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 roll out my picture here. But <laughs> so it's it's Frank. Let's just okay. Yeah. Uh, best dunker on the team. Ace. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> <laughs> He's did throw it down a couple almost, times in the game last almost, year. So. More or less will be fun this year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, underclassmen that surprised you maybe the most? Uh, well, Tyler we have Nick. Oppie. Nick, that, that's all right now in the hand. He, he's going to be really good. And Tyler Oppie, he showed okay. a lot of great Yeah, he, He's a really great player. Really good player. Okay, all right, let's have a little, a little more fun. Um, biggest goofball besides you two on the team? Either Chad or Nathan, but it's not really hidden. It's really hidden. Yeah. Yeah. You got to do a lot. You gotta really, like, Let's go like back before. to the football video where Nathan and Garrett Warren admitted to jumping on a couch when they were younger <laughs> and watching a spider across the floor. Um, let's uh, let's have a little more fun. Um, chocolate or vanilla? Uh, no, chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Uh, favorite candy bar? Kit Kat. I like Kit Kat. Nice. All right. Uh, favorite pro basketball player? Oh, I gotta go with my cousin. Adam Morrison. Adam Morrison. Adam Morrison. Okay. Uh, I like Russell Westbrook, Devin Booker. Those are my two favorite. Westbrook and Booker. All right. Favorite pro team? Well, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, I knew that. Uh, I'm loyal to Denver. Okay, loyal to Denver. All right. Uh, favorite girls player for the Lady Plains? Oof. I would have to go either Jen or Lexi. Okay. Matter. I like watching them play. I'll go Jen. You go Jen? All right. Well, I'm, I'm switching up because I didn't do this with them last <laughs> night. So, um, talk about, you know, is it a toll to play four games in three days to start a season when you haven't had very much practice? I mean, we're talking nine days to prepare. Yeah. Well, I think for us, we've had so much energy and practice and so much great, like, made great together that we, I think we're going to go out there and uh, 
go out there and play with teams. We're gonna, we're gonna go out there and shock, shock the people this year. And as I would say, shock the, shock the world. But. Shock the world. All right. All right. Well, that's Asa Williams. That's Frank Crum. And again, four games in three days. Larry starts at Casper College Thursday against Evanston. Then they've got Rock Springs middle of the day at Natrona on Friday. Then they play Natrona at Natrona Friday night, and then at Kelly Walsh on Saturday to wrap it up. It's the Fremont Motors Tournament in Casper as the planes can get set for the start of the 2017-18 season.